Hello everyone. May Almighty God bless you. Keep you in Jesus name. Amen. Our today's topic is defeating the spirit of anger. Do you ever find yourself walking in regret when it comes to reacting in anger? If so, let us take a journey and discuss how to recognize the spirit of anger within yourself and break free from the destructive behavior it lives it lives in in your life. Please, this video might be a little longer so that we can understand it correctly. The book of Proverbs 1632 says, He who is slow to anger is better than the mighty, and he, and he who rules his spirit than he who takes a city. Once it is recognized, you can learn how to break free from the destructive spirit of anger and replace it with the authority of God's Holy Spirit. Now, number one is how you will know that you have the spirit of anger. Try to identify the spirit of anger in you. You are created with a body, soul, and spirit. Now, I'm going to explain these three, body, soul, and spirit. Number one is body. Your body is physical, meaning it can be seen and touched. Your body is what responds physically to the temptations of the world. Your body is designed to carry out a kingdom purpose. Number two is soul. Your soul is made up of your mind, will, and emotions, just as it is with your body. Your soul is designed by God for a purpose. This means that God gave you a mind to think as well as free free will to make decisions it is in your minds that the battle with the supernatural world begins three spirit your spirit man craves alignment with the Lord if you are a follower of Jesus then you have the option of filling your spirit with the power and authority of God's Holy Spirit on the other hand your Adamic nature seeks the flesh. It is where the spirit of anger seeks to overtake so that you begin walking by the flesh rather than the spirit. Oh, do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have from God, and you are not your own? For you we are bought at a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19 to 20. With God, all things are possible. Spirit of anger is a very bad thing. The Bible says in the book of Ephesians 6, 12, it says, For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Anger begins in the soul. Oh, yes. There is a constant dialogue happening in your soul, and you must be able to recognize who is speaking. That is how you can know whether or not it is true the spirit of anger is an assignment from the enemy to throw confusion into your life and rob you of the peace of god but you can defeat it through the blood of jesus christ and the word of your testimony now how to tell when you are giving the spirit of anger authority in your life so many people doesn't know that they give the spirit of anger authority to rule them do your thoughts align with God's word? The best way to realize that you are allowing the spirit of anger to have authority in your life is to be familiar with God's word. From there, you can see if your thoughts and actions align with his truth. So then, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath, for the wrath of man does not produce the righteousness of God. James chapter 1, 19-20 All too often, however, believers mistake familiarity with God's word for a relationship with Messiah. Instead, we should seek to become more and more like Christ. This means to adopt his ways and his thoughts. The book of 1 John chapter 2, verse 6 said, He who, say, who, who, he who says he abides in him 
ought himself also to walk just as he walked. Now, the correct response when dealing with the spirit of anger is this. If you notice that the spirit of anger has a strong good in your life, there is good news. It doesn't have to anymore. Through the blood of Jesus Christ and the gift of his spirit, you can overcome the spirit of anger. The first thing to remember after you have reacted in anger is to seek forgiveness. Ask the Lord and the one with whom you reacted in anger for forgiveness by asking for forgiveness. You are no longer agreeing with the spirit of anger, but aligning with the spirit of God. Now, three truths to remember when dealing with the spirit of anger. Number one is, it is not a person or group of people that is causing your anger. Anger is stirred up by a supernatural principality that is working to discredit you. This spirit will push you to lose your temper and behave according to the flesh rather than the spirit. The spirit of anger never brings a sense of peace. Number two, the deep roots of your anger may go back for several generations in your family line. You must combat those deep-rooted lies with God's truth. The spirit of anger grows more destructive with time, and unless it is defeated, it will wreak havoc for future generations in your family line. Number three is, when you feel the spirit of anger rising, take that moment to pause. Excuse yourself and walk away from the situation or count to ten. Use that break to call on the Holy Spirit for direction. Decide to fight the temptation of coming into agreement with the spirit of anger. Grace will never cross the bridge of anger. Again, defeat the spirit of anger through the power of the spoken word. You must understand that your words have power. The words you speak will affect the atmosphere around you, whether it be for good or bad. Remember, things multiply according to their kind. So speak words of life and peace if you want life and peace. The book of Proverbs 18 verse 21 says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruit. We are in the middle of the Hebrew year, which is the year of the spoken word. Believers will be held accountable for every word they speak. Your words are your choice, a choice that impacts your work in the fullness of your salvation. Choose to speak love. Choose to speak love. Hallelujah. Now, my brethren, we are going to pray. We are going to pray the prayer to defeat the spirit of anger. Holy Spirit, I ask for direction and conviction as it pertains to the spirit of anger operating in my life. Reveal to me the spirit that has been hurt by my anger and my words. Allow me the strength and humanity to ask for forgiveness from them. Lord, I praise you that your mercies are new each and every day. I ask for your guidance as I continue to walk through this challenge. I declare victory over the spirit of anger in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen and Amen.